Hey guys, what's going on? This is USB45 Master, and I'm bringing you a, a video editing tutorial this time. And I'm just going to show you how I edit a tiny little clip line. Um, it's not too special. It is just um, how to basically get your captured clip and edit it down to size. Um, really just showing you the basic like interface and use of Adobe Premiere Pro. And um, right now we could start a new project or use a preset that I've already created, which I decided to do. Um, it's just a blank slate, so when it opens up, I'm going to drag my video into the program. As you see me doing about now. Grab the uh, Capture.264 and drag it into Adobe Premiere. And there it is. So yeah, just drag that onto the timeline, and I'm going to go find the clip that I want. Um, I believe it's around six and a half minutes. Yeah, it's a little bit past here. Um, it's just, uh, here we go, here we go. It's just this nice little throwing knife right here. Um, nothing too special, just pretty, pretty nice kill. Now I'm just going to zoom in as far as I can, so each one of those lines that per represent one frame. And uh, as you know, there's 60 frames in a second when capturing from Xbox 360. So, yeah, that's a very short period of time right there. I'm going to go find, um, right as the guy enters my view uh, on the actual, uh, on the actual screen and before that I what I want to do is make sure the audio and the video is synced up lined up so that when I do do my splitting nothing's going to be um, off or not synced up so right there is where the clip begins the first frame that you can really see the guy at and once I get the throwing knife oh yeah that's about good right about Right about there, yeah. There we go. That that should be good. Cut that. Cut the video and the audio, and then we'll just drag that down to the start of our video to make sure it's not too big. Mm, now we can pretty much just export it, and uh, that's what it's gonna look like right there. There's a little clip, and you see it's not very long. It's only about three seconds, so it shouldn't take too long to. To um, code and get into the format that we want. So we we'll go up to File, Export, Media, and the settings that I use are Export Video and Audio. And what I'll do is the AAC Audio and the H.264 Video. And what that will allow me to do is um, have basically the best quality you can. Um, for the false smallest file size, and it's actually really beneficial um, to do that. I mean, once it's posted on YouTube, you really don't see a difference in what it's going to actually look like. So you might as well get it to the H.264 as rather than say a WMV file format or even um, or even uh, AVI file format. Trust the Dunkin' Donuts. Erica runs out of Dunkin'. And here we go. We exported. And I'm actually going to show you right now. Um, exporting with uh, with VBR Pass 2. Which will actually increase the quality. But uh, increase the time that it takes to, uh, to, to encode the file itself. So you'll be sitting here for longer waiting for it to finish, but overall it will look better in the long run. And yeah, as you can see, it's just about double the speed, double the time it took, uh, maybe a little bit less. And let's go back in and test this out. Now this is uh, pass one, I believe. This is one pass. And here's the second pass. 
just a little bit smoother, not much difference, but, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and, um, if you have any comments or anything like that, just send me a message, um, and be sure to answer them as best as I can. Have a good one, guys.